Imagine you had to translate the term mad cow disease from English into German. Now you can do that by targeting the EU website as follows. So we'll enter our term mad cow disease. Now we'll want to use quotation marks to indicate the phrase as opposed to all of the words anywhere on the page. So quotation marks before, quotation marks after. Now to target the EU website and specifically the pages uh, dealing with uh, EU law, we can enter in Earl, that means in the internet address, this particular string has to appear. Okay, then we'll press search. And as you can see here, the pages in this hit list all contain EU R hyphen lex dot Europa dot EU that indicates that the pages are on the EU website in this particular directory. So we'll open the first page. Now to do this we'll press shift and then left click and that will open a new window so that we have the search results on one um, in one instance of Internet Explorer and our results on another page. So shift that is the upward pointing arrow on the left of your keyboard and then left click. So our results are opened in a separate page and we still have our hit list here on the left. So let's go to our page. Now here we have one language on the left and another on the right. Now um, we see that they're both English at the moment, so we can change the second one to German. So we have English on the left and German on the right. Now to find our term, we just press on, we just uh, left click on the left hand side and press Control F to open a search window at the top left of your screen and we'll enter MAD that's enough, we find the first instance on the left hand side so MAD COW DISEASE MAD COW DISEASE now on the right we can see our translation RINDER WAHNSINN so there we go, we have the English on the left and the German on the right. And you could continue searching on the same page with Control F to find different instances of that term and double check the translation. So there we go.